In this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate the change in entropy of an isothermal process. And if you remember, isothermal means constant, constant temperature. And of course, in a PV diagram, we're referring to temperature in kelvins, constant temperature in kelvins. So on a PV diagram, and I'll just draw this quickly, if we have a gas going from state one to state two, and it follows a isothermal curve, then it's going from V1 to V2. And this is assuming it's an expansion. This is an expansion. Now, to calculate the change in entropy, first off, we have to know what the definition of entropy is. So the change in S, and this is entropy, is equal to delta Q over T. And this is assuming a constant temperature. And it's assuming the reaction or process is reversible. This does not account for irreversible reactions. OK. So in an isothermal process, we know that the change in Q is the change in work. Oops. It is the change in work, not change in Q. So to write this in terms of the change in entropy, we would have delta S equals the change in work over T. Now, if you remember how to calculate the change in work of an isothermal process, you know that work equals nRT times the natural log of V2 divided by V1. Or you could write this as ln of V2 minus the ln of V1. And this just obeys you know, logarithm rules. OK. So now that we plug this into delta S, all we have to do is go delta S equals nRT times ln of V2 divided by V1 over the temperature, because the temperature is constant. Now there's something funny about this. This cancels out with this. So actually, the change in entropy of an isothermal process is just n times r times the natural log of v2 divided by v1. And that is it.